Well, also topping the news at five, the decision to close two Gross Point schools comes after months of heated debate, the formation of a blue ribbon commission, and a lengthy study. But after a vote last night, the school board decided two elementary schools on kind of opposite ends of the points are going to close. Papard, which is actually in Harper Woods, and Trombley Elementary, which is in Gross Point Park, are going to close. There are also other major changes coming in the district. Priya Mann spoke with parents upset about that move and how school leaders a plan to go about it. Parents in two communities within the Gross Point School District are upset about the same thing, the sudden closure of their children's elementary schools. Trombley in the South End and Poupard here in Harper Woods, the district's only fully Title I school. I just think it's not good because you have kids who have to walk home, little kids whose parents work and they have to walk home. I am very upset. I really am. I'm really disappointed in the school board. In a 5-2 to two vote Monday night, the Gross Point School Board voted to close two elementary schools. Closing Poupard caught the attention of the Michigan Department of Civil Rights as a majority of students there are black. This is what the executive director told Local 4 shortly before the controversial vote. I think that the questions that were raised and the comments that were raised raised serious concerns about whether their process was fair, inclusive and transparent. But the district superintendent says there was no racial bias in the decision as Bupard students go on to attend Gross Point Middle and High Schools. It's our opportunity to actually be, become more integrated than we have been before. We'll continue to provide uh, those types of services for um, the, the families that are in the Title I or in the Title programs. The district has been dealing with declining enrollment for years, meaning less funding and more empty classrooms. Parents who voted in favor of a $111 million bond to fix up schools are outraged. I voted for the school board. I voted for the bond. I feel duped. I feel like they did a bait and switch. And I'm also very disappointed. You see, I'm getting a little upset. These signs now seem to be in vain. Both elementary schools are set to close next year. I think they're very incompetent in this decision and they're not thinking long term. I don't think it's a good idea. Like I said, we vote there. It's our voting location and it's just, it's right here. It's a neighborhood school. We need to figure out how we're going to heal, how we're going to come back together. And it's not clear how that's going to happen anytime soon. As for these two closures. Kids are now going to be about a mile or a mile and a half away from their new schools and the district doesn't provide any busing or transportation. So now the district is also looking into school buses. I'd also like to point out that there is now a movement to have a petition to recall some of these board members. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Uh, Priya, though, the, the closures weren't the only controversial decision made by the board last night. Yeah, that's right, Devin. They also voted to reconfigure grades. So elementary schools will now be K through four and fifth graders will join the middle school. That decision also proving to be very unpopular. Yeah. Send it back to you. Let's stay on that too. All right, Priya.